Hey everyone, my name is Peter. I'm a developer relations engineer on the Firebase team. And today I will show you how you can use Firebase AI logic to implement AI powered chat features in your apps. My team and I have been working on an app called Friendly Meals, a meal planning app that suggests recipes based on user preferences. On this screen here, users can generate a recipe based on a list of ingredients and other requirements they provide. Here is a recipe the app created for a list of things that I found in my kitchen earlier today. While the current version of our meal planning app works well, we realized we could improve the user experience by introducing a conversational AI-powered feature. Imagine this. Instead of just getting meal suggestions, you can chat directly with your personal meal planner just like you are talking to a friend or a professional chef. This isn't just about convenience, it is about unlocking dynamic personalization. You won't just receive suggestions anymore, you will actively shape them in real time. For example, if your meal planner suggests a parmigiana recipe, but you're not in the mood for aubergines, you could say, can you use courgettes instead? the AI would understand your request and adapt the recipe to your preference. This turn-by-turn -turn conversational flow allows for an organic, iterative process. You react to the app's responses and it reacts to yours, resulting in a truly tailored result. Before we can start implementing this conversational meal planner, there is a crucial technical detail we absolutely have to cover first. It is foundational to how these things work. Large language models are inherently stateless. What does this mean? It means they don't remember a single thing you just told them. Not a message from 10 seconds ago, let alone five minutes ago. So if the AI doesn't recall that you were talking about Parmigiana a minute ago, then when you say, can you use courgettes instead, it has absolutely no context. It will probably give you an answer about courgettes that is completely unrelated to Parmigiana. That would be a rather frustrating conversation, wouldn't it? So now you're probably thinking, but wait, how do all those AI chatbots work then? I can have a conversation with them and they perfectly remember what I said. Well, the secret is this. To help the model know what has been discussed before, you as the developer have to send the entire history of the conversation with every single request. That's right. This means every single thing you've said and every response the model has given and then what you've said in return and so on and so forth. All of this needs to be sent to the model with every single request. It's a bit like giving the AI a complete transcript of your chat so far. Now, you might be thinking, this surely sounds like a lot of work, but don't worry. Firebase AI logic has you covered. It automatically tracks chat conversations for you, so you don't have to do this manually. Firebase AI Logic offers two primary APIs for interacting with the model, generate content and send message. The generate content method is part of the generative model class. It allows you to communicate with the model in a stateless manner. Here is a video in which I explain how it works in detail and how I used it to implement the first screen of this meal planning app. But as we've discussed earlier, it doesn't keep any conversation context. Isn't it really frustrating when you realize your communication partner doesn't seem to pay attention? Um. Mm. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> I got distracted for a moment. Um, now, where was I? Right. Maintaining context and paying attention. This is where send message comes in. It's a member of the chat class. The chat class is part of the Firebase AI Logic SDK 
and it automatically manages conversation history using an in-memory buffer. It stores both the user's messages and the model's responses. This enables users to refer back to earlier model outputs or something they said earlier in the conversation. To use the chat API, first get an instance of the model you would like to use. Here, I use Gemini 2.5 Flash, which is a great model for fast performance on everyday tasks. By default, Firebase AI logic will communicate with the model via the Gemini developer API. You can also use the Vertex AI Gemini API, which has support for additional features. To learn more about the differences between the two API providers, watch this video or check out the documentation. A chat feature is also a great way to add some personality to your app. Maybe your brand persona is helpful, but maybe your users would appreciate the sassy personality of a celebrity chef. You can use system instructions to change the personality of your chat with just a few lines of code. Giving models a personality isn't strictly required, but providing system instructions do help to provide guidance for the model. Now that the model is set up, you can start a new chat. Each chat instance keeps its own conversation history in memory. You can also provide an existing chat history. This can be useful for continuing a conversation or for pre-populating the chat with a past conversation that has been saved to a permanent location, such as a database. With all the preparations done, you can now send the user's messages to the model. The chat instance will maintain the conversation history for you, allowing users to refer back to what was said before. Here is how we integrated the chat API in our meal planning application. This method is part of a view model that maintains a local list of messages that the UI then renders on screen using Swift UI. Let me point out that the messages property holds a list of all the chat messages we want to display in the UI. It has a slightly different data model than the message history of the chat object. This gives us more control over how we display the messages in the app's user interface. When the user sends a new message, we will first add it to the chat UI and then send it to the model. We then wait for the model's response. This is an asynchronous operation, so we use Swift's await keyword. This suspends the current function and frees up the main thread to do other work making sure your app doesn't freeze. Once we receive the model's response, we will append it to the chat UI. Oh, and because things can sometimes go wrong, we've baked in some error handling. If anything unexpected happens, we make sure to display an error message to ensure the user isn't kept in the dark. And this is how you can use the Firebase AI Logic SDK to create an AI-powered, conversational user interaction for your app in just a few lines. All right, let's turn up the heat and talk about how users can incorporate visuals in their conversations. For example, they might snap a picture of what's in their fridge and the model suggests a delicious recipe using only those ingredients. Both the Generate Content API and the Send Message API support multimodal input. That means you can seamlessly send images or other files when you're generating content or chatting with the model. To send an image, simply pass it as the first parameter to the Send Message API. Just like text messages, the Chat API automatically keeps a reference to these images in its history for as long as the chat object is active. Firebase AI logic supports PNGs, JPEGs, and WebP images. A quick note, if you send files as inline data, they'll be base64 encoded during transit, which increases the request size. If a request gets too large, you might hit a HTTP 413 error. In this case, you should either resize the image before sending 
or ask the user to provide a smaller one. Now, you might have noticed that sometimes we had to wait a couple of moments for the model's response to show up in the UI. That is because the send message API waits until it received the complete response from the model. Let's see how we can improve the user experience. Like most other large language models, Gemini supports streaming. This means the model sends content to the client as it generates it. With Firebase AI Logic, you can make use of the streaming capabilities of Gemini. Our client-side SDKs include methods for streaming and non-streaming calls, so you can pick whichever works best for you, based on your use case. Here is a code snippet that shows how you can use the streaming version of the chat API. The Firebase AI Logic SDK for Swift makes use of Swift's asynchronous streams. You first start the stream by sending the user's message to the send message stream method. This will return a stream, which will subsequently receive the model's response as it's generating it. This way, you can start showing the model's partial response to the users and don't have to wait until the model finishes generating. Swift has this really convenient API for consuming an asynchronous stream. You just iterate over it using a for await loop. You can then assemble all the chunks you receive and update the UI as you receive them. Let me update the code for the chat UI of our meal planning app. I will first append an empty message to the array holding all the messages of my chat UI. I will then send the user's message to the model using the send message stream method and start looping over the chunks that the model will send via the stream. Inside the asynchronous for await loop, I will first read the text of each chunk as it arrives and then update the message array accordingly so that Swift UI updates my UI. In case anything goes wrong, I will show an error message inside a chat bubble. When I run the app again, the UI will update as the model sends its response. This significantly improves the user experience by providing clear feedback and not leaving users in the dark. And there you have it. You now know how to use the chat API and Firebase AI logic both for streaming and non-streaming calls. The code for the sample app is available on GitHub. The link is in the description of this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.